All right, guys, welcome back. So quick update and maybe kind of a story time video here today. I don't know who was around last week, but on last Friday night, we did a stream on Twitch and it was amazing, man. A lot of you guys showed up and were killing it in the chat, doing all types of support. It was really, really cool. So shout out to everybody that showed up there. However, doing that stream generated a couple of questions on here for me. So I did upload a notification video on this channel to say that I was streaming on Twitch. And in that channel, I kindly let you guys know that I was banned from streaming on YouTube for three months. So in this video, I'm going to explain why I got banned. And I suggest right now that if you want to catch future streams, which I'm going to be doing more often because I think I am going to go for affiliate on Twitch then you should go and follow me on Twitch right now the link is down below the link has always been down below in every single video so basically what happened was I got a strike a community guideline strike it's not a copyright strike but I got in trouble here on YouTube because I violated the community guidelines here so if you guys didn't see the video it was uh, back in November at some point I think a couple of months back I posted a video it's kind of a viral video and we did some commentary over it, it was when a teacher and student fought in the classroom if you guys remember that video basically the student was egging the teacher on you know talking all shit to him and then eventually the teacher just snapped and hit the kid and you know it was a it was a pretty funny video right now I put this video up almost five months ago man it was just chilling here on the channel generating views it was kind of an experimental kind of content for me and I think you guys liked it I want to do more videos like that where we kind of react to funny things here I know I always talk about video games but we also like to do or I I would also like to do some some other types of content here and I think you guys are cool with it so far because we've done a couple of videos that don't necessarily fit into the video game genre however apparently this video violated the community guideline rules for our videos that include violent content so I guess since this video depicted somebody fighting in it somebody getting hit and you know throwing punches at each other that it was considered violent and you know to that I gotta say touche okay yeah the video did depict some violence but my only problem with it is this. Why is YouTube going after a 500 sub channel? Like who, who am I really in the grand scheme of things on YouTube, right? I'm a nobody. Yet my channel gets flagged for having a video like this when if you just go in and type world star fight compilation in the YouTube search engines, you will literally find thousands of videos showing things exactly like this. So what gives, man? What is the deal? Why did I have to get in trouble for this? I don't know. I think I have a theory as to why I got in trouble for this. I don't think that the video was actually flagged by like a YouTube algorithm. I think somebody saw the video and got upset about it and reported it because why would I get in trouble randomly almost five months after posting a video about this and there was no problem from the time I posted it up until now. Somebody out there, some fucking pussy, some little bitch must have seen the video and just must I don't know I they must just be too sensitive they couldn't handle it so they probably went and hit the report button and now your boy is in trouble here so I got a community guideline strike so what does that mean for me when I signed back into YouTube I had to acknowledge that I received a strike that I broke the rules that I'm in trouble you know they just they just treat you like a little kid out here it was like in high school when you used to get written up and you had to sign it and acknowledge it, it just feels so childish and part of the punishment is that I'm not allowed to live stream on YouTube for three months, 90 days. So that kind of sucks, man. I mean, I had fallen off the stream game before, but that just made me want to stream even more. So that's why we ended up doing that Twitch stream last Friday night. It was an amazing stream. Everybody who shut up, big thank you to you. And yeah, I won't be able to stream here on YouTube until at least May 20th. So Mark your calendars, guys. May 20th, we're going to have a big party. We're going to have a big comeback stream here on YouTube, and everything will be great and dandy, right? Now, what's even funnier is this. As of yesterday, at the time I recorded this video, as of yesterday, YouTube changed the rules as far as strikes go. So now, instead of strikes one, two, and three, you actually get a warning first before you even get a strike. So if this f***ing bitch had just reported my video a couple of days later, then I wouldn't even gotten a strike. I would have just gotten what they call a written warning. And then once you screw up after that, then you get the first strike. But you know, since I got in trouble before the rules changed, then the old rules still applied to me. So that, I, I don't know, man. It, it is what it is, I guess. I hate that saying. I really do. It's like no fucking shit. It is what it is. But that's what's going on here on the channel. When I uploaded that notification video that I was on Twitch, some of you guys left a comment saying, why are you banned from streaming on YouTube? So I figured I'd just make a video about it, let you 
you guys know what's going on. Hopefully, there's nothing else on my channel that is breaking the rules as of now. If I get another strike, I'm probably going to have to make a backup channel, man. So be on the lookout for further updates about that. But that's the entire story, man. So as I said before in the beginning of the video, go follow me on Twitch so that next time I'm live, you will get notified because Twitch's notifications actually work, first of all. And like I said earlier, I think I want to go for Twitch affiliate because you guys were just turning out in droves, just killing it in the chat in Twitch. We had 15 concurrent viewers and 13 people in the chat at the same time at the peak of it. That's more people than watch me here on YouTube. So thank you guys all so much for whoever showed up there. I truly appreciate it. And I just want to say this, this, this very last thing for those of you guys who are still here at the very end of the video. One of the reasons that I wanted to stream on Twitch, not only did I get in trouble last week, but I actually heard some very, very bad news. Someone in my family had died. You know, I know I told some of you guys who were still around at the end of the stream, I said it right before I got off and I said I had a death in a family and it was, you know, it was it was a really hard week. And, you know, being on stream with you guys, you know, it, it, made, it made it better. It kept my mind off things and it just put me in a good mood after a really bad week. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys. Honestly, I can't thank you enough for all the support you give me. A channel of my size, I mean, the, the views, the likes, the comment ratios I get is, are insane. So just thank you. Your support means more than you know. And it's, it's time to move onward now, guys. So I think we're going to go for Twitch affiliate. And I just wanted to give you guys an update, let you guys know what's going on. And that wraps up the video. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. Follow me on Twitter. Link is down below. And also follow me on Twitch and I will see you guys in the next video. Love you. Bye.